So I'll help you understand cloud in a very, very simple way. And I'll give you two definitions for it. So the first definition is a more technical definition. Okay. So before the cloud happened, the way software and IT and these applications, the way used to run is that a company would buy a server and set up the networking and all that within its office. You know, they will build a, some kind of a small data center to set up the server and the networking and they might have some security equipment, they'll have some data storage in, in some kind of a private data center. This was the traditional way of doing things before cloud. With the cloud, the change that happened is through the internet. Because of the internet, what the internet facilitated is that the software and the data is all being served from a different location, not from the company's own data center, but from a data center across the world and from a third party data center. And the application data is all stored somewhere else. Okay, so this is a technical definition. Now I'll share a more important and an economic definition that is more relevant to the business owners. Before cloud, imagine, you know, you have to set up your own, own data center, you have to set up your own server, networking, data, backup, all that things. That is all capital expenditure. Okay, you have to invest several lakhs of rupees into the buying the servers and also buying the software. It's all capital expenditure. What cloud enabled is completely remove the capital expenditure and change it to operational expense, OPEX. And the way it happened is that using the cloud, hardware can now be rented on a hourly basis from Amazon Web Services or Google or Windows or Azure. Okay, you can rent hardware on a hourly basis. You don't, you don't have to buy the hardware. Similarly, software, you don't have to buy a software and pay the capital expenditure rather than rather you can just buy software and pay for it as you go you can pay for it uh, based on as much as you use or pay for it depending on how many users use it so the this had a big impact on the adoption and the usage of software because earlier only the biggest companies that had a lot of money could spend the capital expenditure, could spend you know hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars to acquire the hardware, acquire the software to set it up. But with the capital expenditure almost going away and everything becoming OPEX, and that too at a cost of you know like a few dollars, maybe ten dollars, twenty dollars a month, sometimes free. That led to a huge increase in the adoption of software. And the biggest benefits of this have been the SMBs, small and mid-sized businesses who have who are able to now, you know, thanks to this economic model of the cloud, they're able to use world-class applications, world-class hardware at a very nominal cost.